already hosses welcome back and in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up multiple scenes and how you can switch between them so you would want to do this say that you're making like a chat program like Skype you'd obviously want one scene where the user could type and see all the messages talk to their friends and you might want to make another scene to I don't know like allow the user to edit their profile information or something so again a scene is just a different view the content inside the window and if you're thinking about it in like website terminology it would just be like a new page so that's what we're gonna be doing and also what I'm probably gonna do from here on out is I'm gonna take this primary stage which we already know refers to the entire window and I'm just gonna name rename it to window and that's just because I think it's a little bit easier to follow along and um, also just think you know in your brain this is actually the window might as well just call it that and of course since this tutorial is switching between scenes you probably need two scenes so I'm gonna name one scene one and another scene two pretty stinking creative now to rename your primary stage just put window equals primary stage so now we can refer to the entire window as window like I said it's easier to I oh know it's just easier on my brain now this program is going to be really simple I'm going to have one scene and all it's going to have inside it is a button and the button is going to be like hey um, welcome to scene one click the button to go to scene two so that's what that's going to do and in the next scene I'm going to have another button and it takes you back to scene one so really basic demo but it's going to teach you pretty much the foundation of how to switch between scenes it's going to be pretty cool actually let me go ahead and add a label I don't even know if I talked to you guys about what a label is yet. A label is just a little chunk of text. So static text, the user is not going to interact with it at all. It's just a plain um, string, essentially. So I'll say, welcome to the first scene. All right, now for the button, I'll name the first one button one. And of course, we'll set this equal to new button. And we'll just set the text right through the constructor. Let me scroll down here. So this button will say go to scene 2 since whenever they see this obviously this will be the very first scene and clicking it will take them to scene 2 well of course we need to add that functionality and thanks to the last tutorial we know that we can just use lambda expressions put e window which is your main window the parent of everything what we can call on here is set scene now essentially what this does is it changes the view or scene and we're just gonna eventually make scene 2 so it'll go from scene 1 to scene 2 so this is pretty much um, the one thing if you only remember one thing from this tutorial remember this little line of code right there now I'm also gonna show you guys that you can use multiple layouts or different layouts so For the first scene, I'll just say, um, I'll lay out everything in a vertical column. And I know that, um, I didn't talk to you guys about like the details of different layouts or everything like that. But just for right now, we can use VBox and we can just name it like a layout one. And what this is going to do, of course, is it's going to stack all the objects on top of each other. And I'm going to be making, um, a layout tutorial soon to show you guys the difference between VBox, HBox, Stack Pane. It's going to be explaining all that stuff, but for right now, this is a pretty easy one. And also, whenever you make it, you can pass in a value. So, again, what VBox does is it's a layout that stacks all the objects on top of each other in a column, and it's going to space them out 20 pixels so they're not like butted up right up against each other. So, now that we have a layout, what we can do is we can actually add the items to it so get children add all now whenever you just have one item you can just use add but whenever you have multiple you need to throw add all in there and we want to add label one which is that text it's like welcome to the scene and also button one boom roasted now the last thing we need to do is now that we have our layout we can just pretty much set it for scene one so scene one alright and pretty much a new view so new scene now you need to give me what layout you're using how you want things arranged 
Well, how about layout one? And also, how big am I? Well, we'll just say you're 200 by 200 pixels. So that is it for the first scene. Created two objects, a label and a button. Added the action for the button so it actually does something when you click it. Said this is how we want things arranged and pretty much set everything up. So now we can just speed right through this. Button two. I'm just going to be real lazy and copy everything. So, of course, this is the button that's going to be on the second scene. So, button two, I'll say, what text am I going to have on here? I'll say this scene sucks. Go back to scene one. All right. So now, also, we need to put a different action. So, on button two, whenever you click it, the window changes to scene one. All right, looking good. Now, after here, we need to make a real quick layout. And just to switch things up a little bit, I'm actually going to use stack pane, which is a really easy one. And I'm just going to name it layout 2. And stack pane, we don't need any parameters at all. And just like before, layout 2 get children we essentially just want to add this button to this layout so button 2 and that'll stick button 2 on our layout of course and now we just set up our scene so for the second scene of course it's a new scene a new view what layout are you using how about layout 2 and how big do you want me to be well how about a little bit bigger 600 by 300 so simple enough now we have one little chunk of code to do and that is how does your window know to display our first scene first because right now we have two scenes set up with different items inside but now it's asking all right what one do you want me to display so by default as soon as your program starts we're gonna say set scene and we'll just say scene one it doesn't really matter but we'll just pick scene one and also you always should have a title even if it's just something stupid like I was right title here so you guys know where you would put it and also window dot show to actually display it there we go that's what I wanted alright now everything is looking good did I see a huh, I thought I saw error but hopefully not let's run this bad boy fingers crossed and check it out the worst allow ever but whatever so this is our very first scene welcome to the first scene click a button go to scene two of course <laughs> this is the dumbest program ever your window gets bigger this scene sucks go back to scene one dun, 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 dun. Uh, 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 uh. I love switch and scenes I love switch and scenes alright so there you go and uh, yeah, there you have it. There's the basics. Pretty much explained everything. No need to say it again. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, well, see you later.